So we're going to look at how AP Chemistry is going to be keeping their notes um, for this class. Um, basically what you guys are going to do is you're going to go and purchase a um, spiral bound five subject um, notebook. So you want to go and make sure that you make that purchase uh, pretty soon here. So um, um, five subject, spiral bound, So make sure you guys make this purchase um, and have it ready for class um, <clears throat> by the beginning of next week. So um, once you have that spiral bound notebook, the way we're going to divide the notebook up is uh, via left and right hand side. Okay, on the left hand side of each notebook page is where you're going to place your uh, lecture notes from the video notes that are provided. So AP Chemistry is a flipped classroom. So what that means is that you guys will be taking notes at home um, by watching video lectures that I have created um, and basically writing down all the notes on the left hand side um, so that you can have your material in a nice organized way. The nice thing about um, having your video notes and doing them at home is that you can pause, you can rewind, um, <clears throat> you can you know take a break. Um, so basically the intention is to have your full and complete and beautiful lovely notes um, completed on the left hand side of this notebook. Um, now at the beginning of each class period I will be coming through and checking for completion of said notes. Okay so for example, let's say that I um, give you guys two videos to watch, okay? And so um, we're going to go ahead and say that, you know, the assignment says I video notes number one, unit one, okay? Um, let's say that... Uh, Video one um, is significant figures, and video two is conversions. Okay, so that's the assignment that you see on the Schoology page. Okay, so what you are going to do is you are going to prep your notebook um, on the left-hand side before you start taking notes. So before I watch video number one, okay, I'm first going to write uh, a few things that are going to help me identify this as the video one um, note set. Okay, so um, at the very start of a unit, you probably want to write what unit you're dealing with. Okay, so this is our first set of notes. So let's say um, this is unit one, and let's pretend that that unit is called the measurement unit. Okay, so I have that across the very top um, at the very beginning of my notes. Okay, now as I go to write, watch video one, I want to make sure that I'm indicating what is being watched is corresponding to that video. So the way that I'm going to differentiate or delineate um, that fact um, is by basically creating a header. So in this header, you're going to include the video or, or the unit. Okay, so unit one, video one, Unit 1, Video 1, and the name of the video. So if Significant Figures is what I have as the title on um, my YouTube page, this is what your header is going to look like. You are then going to highlight the um, header uh, and basically allow um, a visual delineation of that set of notes. Okay, so um, whatever highlighter color you want to use, um, that's fine. Okay, in this case, obviously, I am using this reddish color, um, but you can use any, obviously, traditional um, colors that you want. Okay, so once you have created your overall um, header for that video, you then watch the video and take your notes. Okay, so whatever that may be, you know, sig figs, excuse me, um, you know, definitions, um, diagrams, okay, practice problems. Um, basically, you want to make sure that you are taking full and complete notes on this left-hand side. 
okay? Um, if you need to move on to another page um, because you fill this page completely up with the notes, um, you're gonna wanna turn the page and start on the left-hand side of the following page set, okay? So all the notes at home are going to go on the left-hand side, okay? Um, so once you've taken all your notes, you've included all the information that you need, that you've actually tried to listen to the material, try to understand the material, um, this will then um, allow you to form questions and things that you may have. Okay, so if you have a question during, you know, the, the video number one, okay, put that question into your notes. Okay, so say, Miss Martin, I don't know how to do multiplication. I don't know how to multiply two times two. I don't understand how you got that, right? Write that question out, right? And highlight it for yourself so that you can ask it during class the next period, okay? All right, so once you've watched video one, okay, you're gonna follow the same procedures that you did um, for video two, okay? So what you're gonna write, you're gonna write unit one, in this case, video two, and the title of the video, okay? You're also going to highlight once again, okay, obviously with whatever colors you desire, okay? And then you're gonna take your notes, write your questions, highlight those questions, okay? And basically follow the same procedures as we discussed before. Now, if there's five videos provided to you to watch, obviously there'll be five headers for that specific day. Okay, so make sure that these notes are complete, that they're clean, um, that they have all the information that you need, and, and basically that you use it as an opportunity to take really solid notes and basically try to understand the material at a pace that fits your specific learning style. Okay, now on the right-hand side of your notebook, um, we are going to be taking our in-class notes. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, the in-class notes are going to consist of, you know, answering your questions that you um, generated from the lectures. It's going to consist of additional practice problems. It's going to consist of um, basically rehashing of some of the more difficult concepts. Basically, the right-hand side is an opportunity to supplement whatever um, information you have written down on the left hand side. Okay, so the the right hand side is obviously not going to be as clean cut. It's not going to be as nice and organized because it's going to be at whatever pace, you know, the class moves. Okay, but it, it is going to supplement and help you better understand the stuff on the left hand side. Okay, so um, basically, the expectation of the right-hand side notes is that you're following along, that you're doing the practice problems as we're doing them on the board, that any questions that you may have asked get an answer and, and get linked to the homework, um, or excuse me, to the notes that are on the left-hand side. Um, basically, you want to make sure that you are getting the information. This is allowing you to have two looks at the information, one at your own pace and one um, in the company of uh, the teacher as well as the company of your peers, okay? So obviously we're going to do this for every video section, every lecture section. There may even be lab requirements in terms of watching pre-lab stuff and taking notes on that. Um, at the end of the unit, I will be collecting your guys' notebooks and um, giving you a grade for your notebook, right? So unit one, uh, we take the test, we sit down, we take the test. I'll have your notebooks up. I'll be looking for the stamps for each day. Um, I will be basically trying to um, obviously give you the points that you've earned. Now, if I get a notebook that has nothing written on the right-hand side, you will only get half of your points because you have only filled out half of the requirement for the assignment. Okay, so guys, look, this is really a very easy point set. These are the easiest points you're probably going to get all semester. Okay, so make sure you do a good job with your notes, that you're spending time, that you're trying to understand the material. This is a tool for you guys to earn easy homework points and also be able to obviously have a great place that's organized um, and easy to study. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to mention about your notebooks, okay, let's say that for some reason, you know, you get really ill and you can't come to uh, class on a test day, so you're not able to turn in your notebook. The requirement in order for you to get your full points on um, your notebook as your homework assignment, um, in order to do that, in order to get those full points, you need to bring in your notebook before 8 a.m. the first day you are back on campus. 
okay? So it doesn't matter if I have you during a gold period or a red period, okay? What matters is the first day that you are back on campus, okay? So if you, you know, are sick, the test is on Friday, and you're back on campus on Monday, even though I won't normally see you on that Monday, you need to be bringing in your notebook before 8 a.m. to obtain all of your points, okay? If it's submitted after that, it will follow the late protocol with respect to points earned. As I said, guys, these are the easiest, easiest points you're going to earn all year, so please make sure that you um, take care of these and, and, and earn those points. If you have any questions, make sure you come and see me, um, and I can fix up any misunderstandings you may have.